Oh, it's a hemp mask. A solid mask. Is it for your face? So even though I have no idea what this is, there are still some fun Lego pieces to use afterwards. Like these big yellow discs. A little swatcheroo. Oh, it's intense. I really don't want to put much. Yeah, when you put this in your moisturizer, you must not put too much. This is Jen. Here's more unboxing. Subscribe before you fall asleep. Hi there, my lovely, lovely sleepy squirrels. I hope that you are well today. This is the first um, of the advent calendar videos that I started filming after the release of the first few. So I'm really happy um, with the reaction. Everybody's really happy to see them come back up this year um, and really just lovely feedback. So I'm really happy that you're enjoying them. And my nails have changed. Um, still pressed by Jess, of course. These are the Christmas nails that she sent me last year. And I asked her to make some nails for this year, but I asked really late. <laughs> so hopefully they will be in the next section of video. So I'll film a few with these and then on to the next ones. These ones are gorgeous and still look brand new. Okay, so a lot of you have been entering the giveaway, very happy about that, and you've been sharing some beautiful Christmas and winter stories. So the way to enter the giveaway, where I will be giving away two big gift boxes um, of these products, I will be giving away at least one product um, per day into each gift box. So there will be a minimum of 24 products in each gift box. And the way to enter is just sharing a nice winter slash Christmas memory on my Instagram post that is linked just below. So good luck. Okay, so let's get into today's unboxing of these gorgeous little packages. And we're going to start with the beauty calendars and start with Blissy. What do we have today? Oh, we have something glowy today. What's this? It is a little glass bottle. Always appreciate it. And it is from Pi. Pi. So it's a makeup, the Impossible Glow Bronzing Drops. Any minute there. Shake before use, add to moisturizer and apply to face. For more intensity, apply directly to skin. Okay, so it's kind of like, um, could be used as a highlighter, but otherwise it's like a glow thing you can put in your moisturizer. Ooh, I don't know if I will use that. What do you think? Do you think it will give like a super intense glow? With the moisturizer, but then I guess you're putting your foundation over top, so it's not going to be like too much, is it? Okay, let's have a little, a little swatcheroo. Oh, it's intense. I really don't want to put much. Yeah, when you put this in your moisturizer, you must not put too much. <laughs> disperses a little. Obviously it's not as intense as that if you add it to your moisturizer and stuff. Okay, well that might be quite nice actually. I'm not sure I would like it but I mean I'm not against trying something like that. It's like an underglow, you know, because there obviously it's like highlightery intensity. Okay, well I'm gonna try it. It's pretty nice and I do love a glass bottle <laughs> and a dropper. I just feel so luxurious when I'm using products with little droppers and stuff. 
I love the, the serum that I'm using at the moment. What's it from? Um, I can't remember the name of it. I'll write it on screen. Um, it's like a water, watery, super moisturizing serum. I like it. But I just love the little dropper. It feels very nice, like I'm taking care of myself. I feel like that's important. Just the feel of it, you know? Okay, so let's move on to Gloria. The Gloria box. Melusine is the name of the brand and it is 30 euros. 30 euros. Melusine. I feel like I've heard that brand before but I don't know from where. Like it's a French brand. I think maybe from the beautiful box ones. Okay, let's have a look at what it is. Wormy worms. Oh, I see something solid. Yeah, it's a solid product. And it is soap. So this is definitely going to be in the giveaway for sure. Because if it wasn't in the giveaway, I would be just giving it to friends and family anyway. Because I just, I'm just not super into soap. But this doesn't smell too bad. It does smell of soap, so I'm not into that, but it's not as strong as a lot of these soaps, so. Savon mask, savon mask à paison chambre. Oh, it's a hemp mask. A solid mask. Is it for your face? Yeah, I'm thinking it's for your face, because I don't see anything written about hair or anything. Yeah, okay. So this will be put and put into the giveaway. Melusim Paris. So it smells nice. It's like I don't like if I smell right up to it, I smell soap. But like if I'm a little far from it, I do smell something else, but I don't know what. It's not too intense. So most people should like it. Okay. So on to a beautiful box. Figue de Barbary. What's Figue de Barbary? I think that is cactus. You know, like the cactus flower. What's that? Can't think of it right now. But I'll figure it out. So it's 16 euros and the brand is Savon Stories. Soap stories. <laughs> and some more squirmy worms. <laughs> oh, I think I recognize this. I feel like I've had this before. Yes, I have had this before. Um, it didn't agree with my skin, but it smells amazing. Yeah, it does. <laughs> So it is H20, H2O, so Seven Stories Cactus Hydration, and it is a face serum, but it's a solid bar. So three in one repair, soothe, and nourish with um, the oil from Fig de Barbary. Let's see if I can find it in, in English on the back or on the side. I cannot. So arrowroot powder, um, cocoa powder, uh, cocoa powder, <laughs> cocoa butter, mango, shea butter. Oh, what is Fig du Barbary? That's the the picture of it. I'm sure it will come back to me when I'm editing this. But yeah. Um, let me just open it just to show you what it's like. But it will be going into the giveaway. So we have two solid products for the giveaway today. So it's just like a little disc. And it has that little logo on it, but I'm not going to touch it too much because I don't want the, the product to melt. It's like a melting bar, so I'm just not going to handle it too much. I don't want to leave my fingerprints. Okay. So there we go. So now on to the Yves Rocher calendar. 
Oh, something's moving around in here. What is it? It's quite heavy. Oh, it's a tube. I expected it to be like a bottle or something because it was rolling around. Okay, pure malt menthol. The three in one cleanser, scrub, and anti blackhead. Blemish prone skin with organic peppermint. Oh, that sounds nice. Okay, so it's for the morning. Apply morning and evening. Okay, for both. On damp face, massage then rinse. Do not apply on damaged or irritated skin. So, skin with blemishes, you mean? <laughs> Formula tested under dermatological supervision. Okay. Deep cleansing. Okay, well, that sounds nice. I um, double cleanse in the shower because I don't cleanse on days that I don't take a shower. I just use like my cellar water. Um, so this might be a good one as the first cleanse of the shower. I like to use one that's like quite um, fresh and like a gel or something on the first time and then the Garantia paste is the second. Let's smell. Mm, it smells nice and fresh. Yeah, I think I would like this. Okay, so cool. I have a nice little cleanser. I've tested quite a few little tubes of cleansers like this from these boxes and honestly I find it hard to find one I like. Um, there have been a few that I've liked and a few I haven't. I should maybe like do like um, an empty soon with all them. I've been saving them up. I do an empties every now and again. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's move on to my little box. Quite a big one. Some cute presents. A little tree. It's cool. Is she decorating the tree? Yes, yeah, she's put the star on top. This one's very light and it has something written on the back. Party planner. So I'm guessing this is an accessory. All the accessories they've had so far have had something written on the back. Is it talking about cocktail? Something about a cocktail. Okay, well let's let's open it, not spoil. Oh, there's like a little pouch in there. What's in the pouch? It's a long pouch. Oh what is it? Was it like cocktail stirrers or something? A straw maybe. Oh, leap by written in French right there. Reusable straws. Oh, pretty. It's like a little metal straw. Hope they have, yeah, they have something to clean it. Oh, that's pretty. So we have a little pouch. We have two gold colored straws. And they have little indentations on them. Let's see. There, my little box and the little indentations. Almost like where a straw would bend, you know, I want to bend them. They're not going to bend. Okay. Oh, they look black inside. I hope that's like a nice coating to stop them getting gunky in there. And then a little kind of pipe cleaner. I want to say pipe cleaner, but I guess it's a straw cleaner, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see. Oh well. Yeah, I guess it's a lot bigger than the straw, so it's going to hit the sides. And you would just turn that. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. That's a really cute thing. I guess we can have some cocktails, me and my partner, or I'm guessing more likely the kids <laughs> are going to be, are going to be using them. Nice. I actually really enjoy the fact that my little box does a few accessories. It's kind of like breaking it up a little. Okay, so on to the drawer ones. We have look fantastic first. I'm just gonna zoom out a little. Give me some space. And I think it's a tube in there. 
is a very bright tube. Vit C Rodial. Rodial, I've heard that um, brand before from these boxes of course but I don't know what it was so this is a brightening mask brighten and renew is it a face mask apply a thin layer and leave on for 15 to 20 minutes wash off with lukewarm water use two one to two times a week always patch test etc rinse well with lukewarm water careful of your eyes use sunscreen after use. There are a lot of products that tell you you like to stay out of the sun after. I'm not exactly sure why, probably something to do with the acids. There are a lot of acids going on <laughs> in these kind of things. Okay, let's have a little smell. It's a little seal on it there. I know it doesn't have to, but I really want it to smell citrusy because of the vitamin C. Well, it kind of does, but it also smells a little different, like sunscreen or something. Okay, well, I'm not going to swatch it because it's a mask. I would need to wash it off, but yeah, why not? I do like the, the brightness of it. It makes me think that it's going to be good for my skin. Nice and vitamin E. Okay, so we have one more. And that is the Glossy Box for today. And I can see it's either a lip product or like a cream eyeshadow or something. Ooh, lips, yeah. Le Rouge Francais, which is the same brand as the um, lip oil that I love that we got on the first day. So it's called Sick Red and it is a tinted lip balm. Cute, I think I've actually had one of these from Le Rouge Francais before and I gave it to a friend because I'm not much for a, a lip balm. But I do love their lip oils. Let's just have a look at the colour. Yeah, it's a nice, a nice colour there. Um, I will just not swatch that because I would like to put it into the giveaway. There we go. Okay, so quite a nice day. I like the, um, the idea of these little glow drops in my moisturizer. I'll have to try it out, let you know. Um, the mask, so the soap mask is definitely going into the giveaway. I hope one of you likes it. And then this little solid serum will also be going into the giveaway. And I still can't remember what Fille de Barbary is. Okay, so this cleanser I am going to definitely try it out. I'm always happy to try a new cleanser. I'm looking for like my holy grail, like skincare routine. I'm, I'm honing it down. Okay, these gorgeous little straws. I've actually thought about buying reusable um, straws before, but to be honest, we don't really use straws in general much. My son likes to use straws to eat his yogurt, but that's only when we buy the specific yogurts with the straws with it. So they're like paper straws, which is not so bad. Um, but honestly, I don't know the last time I actually even seen a plastic straw. I don't know. <laughs> then we have this little lip balm, which will be getting popped into the giveaway too, and the little face mask. I would say that my favourites are these two, but I am going to give it to my little box because they're just pretty little straws, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so what do you think of today's selection? What's your favourite thing? Let's move on to the Yankee Candle calendar. And number 10 is up here. You can see. Oh, it's one of the grey ones. This is actually the first grey one we've had. I did see um, online that there were grey ones. Let me smell. Mm, this one isn't my favourite. <laughs> there is like a more of a perfume or like aftershave-y kind of smell to it. Yeah, no, it doesn't smell like like sweet 
Christmassy goodness or like trees and nature and stuff like that. It smells more like a perfumed thing. It really smells like an aftershave or something. Um, I don't know if it's the candle I would choose to like burn in my office or something, but maybe like in the house. Um, it might be a nice clean scent, you know. So, let's move on to our tea for today. Such a gorgeous tap each time. I'm like, oh, that's so nice. I might take the, um, little boxes. So I kept all the boxes. And, um, I'm just gonna use it as like a little puzzle. And then maybe take some film some tapping for my no talking channel. I don't know if it'd be okay for like a full video, but part of a video anyway. It's lovely. Okay, let's look at number 10. Irish holiday. I remember. Um, so this one is the black tea with ginger, ribus, and cinnamon. I haven't tried this yet. Probably, well, when you're seeing this video, I will have tried it, obviously, but while I'm filming this video, I haven't tried it yet. It's um, the second time we have it in the calendar so far. And this is actually the one that would be the Christmas Day tea if we were on the white side of the calendar. So that's promising. Let me have a little sniff of it, see if I remember smelling it the other day. Okay, yeah, this is the one, it just smells like black tea with just like a hint of something else, but I can't really tell what. Okay, this might be a milk and sugar one for me, but that's not bad. So on the morning of the 10th of December, I will have had a cup of Irish holiday. I hope I like it. Let's move on to our gemstone for today. So we're gonna complete this row today. Look at that one sticking out from number 14. There are like lots of little ones. I didn't even notice that was an option on there. What is that? Like it has a little elastic in there. It might be to make a little bracelet. Oh, I think my daughter will enjoy that. Christmas day, making a little bracelet. Green aventurine crystal chips with holes. That's cute. Yeah, I can see the holes in them now. They're like little beads. And they're all like smooth and polished. Crushed crystal pieces. Mm. <laughs> they don't look very crushed. They look very smooth. Have been well tumbled. Okay, so they're crushed and then tumbled. Polished and a hole drilled. Excellent for making jewellery. Coming with an elastic string. DIY your own semi-precious gemstone bracelet as a gift for yourself or a friend. Okay, that's pretty cute. I think my daughter will enjoy that. I think my son would enjoy it too, but it's a little fiddly for a four-year-old boy. That sounds delightful. Because everything is so smooth, you know? This looks like sea glass. I don't know what aventurine is. We do. Oh, I'm not going to do any spoilers. <laughs> I just saw something else there. I mean, I guess you can guess what I was about to say, but yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a really nice um, little twist in there. I didn't know there was going to be a, a little DIY project. Nice. Okay, let's move on to the Lego calendars. So, for the Guardians of the Galaxy one, we have number 10. Another mysterious <laughs> object. Um, okay, let me just pop this out. So since filming the first ones of these, Disney Plus actually um, put out the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Now I just think it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't make sense. I don't know what this is, but um, the fact that I don't recognize parts of it and stuff is just because it's not linked specifically to the films. They had like a holiday special. 
which hasn't had great reviews. I've watched it twice, um, but only because I wanted to watch it and then the kids wanted to watch it and there was nothing like to, um, you know, it was fine for the kids. So I said, okay, for that, my partner watched it with us, um, with the kids and he wasn't really much of a fan. And to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of it, um, in general, but I did like some of the moments. There were a few moments I really liked and mostly it was Drax that I liked. <laughs> like his reactions about certain things. I don't want to be too spoilery, so don't listen to the next part if you haven't seen it and you don't want to be spoiled. I mean, it's not like it's... there are no like plot points or anything. <laughs> um, so I really liked when um, Drax found out that Kevin Bacon was only an actor <laughs> and he was like, oh my goodness. Um, and they were like feeling sick and everything. <laughs> But, you know, I, there was there were a few little points. And that Drax wanted his funny wee man. <laughs> that was cute. The funny little man. The little, like, blow-up elf. I thought that was cute. So, it, I mean, it was fun. It wasn't at the level of um, Guardians of the Galaxy film-wise. But it was fun. It was fine. You know. So what is this? I'm really trying to remember... I saw anything similar in the, the um, in the special, and I don't think I did. It's like they have a turkey flamethrower thing. There wasn't one in the in the special. It's just linked to, I guess, like Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that. Okay, so what do we have these for? I don't really understand what these are. Am I missing something? I probably am missing something, but what? I have no idea. What's this? Is it part of something else? Or is it like a little robot that I didn't notice? I guess it's in that direction. I don't know what it is. It looks like a little camera or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to watch it a third time, guys. So even though I have no idea what this is, there are still some fun Lego pieces to use afterwards. Like these big yellow discs and like the little yellow bar and stuff. The fun colourful pieces. Okay, let's have a little look at the Harry Potter calendar for today. So number 10, which I must have pushed in a little when I was holding it last time. We have um, the first one of the fourth film. A little cup there. Perfect. We have a little goblet of fire with some blue fire coming out. Nice. <laughs> That's cute. They have the little, um, the little piece of paper. It's like burnt around the edges. It says Harry Potter. It's on like a, a transparent um, block that's been printed on there. It's really nicely done actually. Okay, so it is a dark brown background or base, I guess. I don't know why they do the bases in two parts, like in one part for others. There's no reason. Probably something to do with money. Like they already had all these four pieces. One like that, yeah, one's like that for the, the little scrap of paper. And of course Dumbledore asked him calmly. <laughs> I love that meme. And the blue fire. A little goblet of fire. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's pretty perfect, actually. Nicely done. Also, I have an update. We may have solved a mystery. I say we, you guys did. Of the first thing that nobody knew what it was. Well, I didn't know what it was. Um, 
and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. <laughs> so um, a few people made some guesses. Um, I think somebody guessed the the door to um, what was it? The courtroom, which I mean, it didn't really make sense because it was only in the first movie. But I guess when that video came out, we didn't know it was like movie one, movie two. That was a good guess. Um, others thought it would have been the, the Ollivander's door, which I thought was quite a good guess because you have like the, the panels on the door, but then it's not really panels, is it? Why would they not just like make little squares then? And then a few of you told me um, in the comments that it would be the little counters for the houses, you know? The little, well, big <laughs> um, things, the big tube things where the the points go in, and I thought that was pretty perfect for the first film, and also with the the kind of jars that are on here, and there's four of them and stuff. So I think mystery solved. Okay. I'm gonna leave this video here for this evening. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it. Don't forget to pop into the description and go and enter the giveaway. And if you've already entered or you don't want to enter, you can still pop over there and have a read of all the Christmas stories. It's lovely. I've really been enjoying reading them. I might actually read them for a video around like Christmas New Year time. I think it might be like a really nice heartwarming video where I could do some fluffy mic sounds and some whispering. Just hearing like little heartwarming stories about Christmas and winter. I think so. Okay. So, I hope that every single one of my sleepy squirrels are well. Wherever you are in the world, whatever's happening around you, I hope that you can find your own. For example, if you are in Lassie, Romania, like Alexandria. Hey Alexandria, I hope you're well. And I hope that every single one of you guys have a lovely, lovely 10th of December. And I'll see you.